Hello there, my Sagittarius Collective. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Oh my goodness, Sagittarius. What is your energy? Oh, you are vibing so good, Sagittarius. Oh my gosh. I love this, but damn. Be very mindful of the decisions that you're making, uh, Sagittarius. Some of you be mindful of who the fuck you're confiding in as well. Three of Cups here with the Five of Swords. Ooh, the Alchemist 14. Mm, there's a level of manipulation when it comes to you. It's not like who can you trust, but some of y'all need to pull that focus back on you. There's the Ace of Swords. Those of you, if you have strong like spiritual beliefs, religious beliefs, hold steady to that energy. There's the Empress. There's the Lovers. Ten of Swords, Aquarius, and the Four Cups. It's all endings, new. Uh, notice the butterfly energy here. This is rebirth. This is that Aquarius energy. So a lot of good sort of communication when it comes to you. Those of you, uh, watch your favorite astrologer. To the Four of Cups. What's the bottom card? Oh, the Queen of Swords. The Queen of Swords. So, who's getting all buddy-buddy with you? Be mindful. Some of you be mindful of who you're sharing your dreams and goals with. So, this is like a realistic approach. Those of you, when it comes to your relationships or partnerships, this is kind of the energy of somebody trying to get close to you to find out about someone that you know. So someone's trying to get answers. Someone's trying to learn about somebody else by using you. So you could be dating somebody, but if they're always asking questions about somebody else, Sagittarius, I feel like you have a lot of energy like that uh, when it comes to you. So don't let everyone know your fucking business right now. Don't let everybody know what the fuck you're doing. Don't let everybody sort of know where your heart is, where you're sort of a... Uh, if you're dating somebody new or you're interested in somebody new, this is a backstabbing energy above all Sagittarius. So some of y'all sit your ass down. Who are you sharing your dreams and goals with? Who's trying to find out about you by going through other people? So Sagittarius, <laughs> uh, be mindful of the, the friends that uh, date anything and anything that shows up. Sort of pressing for answers when it comes to you. So, damn, Sagittarius. It's really not that dramatic. So, anyone new comes into your life, but they're asking about everything else or other people that don't have shit to do with you. It's like that energy. Some of you, this could be in regards to dates, someone asking about your ex, someone... I don't know if you're asking Sagittarius or others are using you to sort of find out or others are using people around you to find out. It's like crosswatcher vibes. So you've set some pretty healthy standards here. So basically, who would sell you out, Sagittarius? Just... Mm. Oh, this has a lot of karmic energy on it, too. So this is the lesser than type vibes when it comes to you, Sagittarius. Some of y'all just sit down and shut the fuck up. Who are you sharing your dreams and goals with? You're dealing with a lot of page-ass energy, too. So that's what a page of pentacles. This is like the new energies. Damn. Take what's yours and leave what's not, Sagittarius. In that Queen of Swords energy, you got the Ten of Swords, the Star, the Aquarius, the Four of Cups there at the Queen of Swords. So, you're able to make decisions here. Some of you getting a lot of clarity that you need.
So, who's your friend and who's not? Who's just sort of pressing you for information on somebody? Or someone could be pressing someone around you for information on you. So, it's, it's, it's less than energy. So, it's not someone even in your vibe. Who can you trust? Who will stab you in the back? Who has stabbed you in the back before? You need to let a lot of that energy sort of play out when it comes to you too, Sagittarius. It sounds dramatic, but it's really not. This is like the co-worker that talks shit about you, but is nice to your face. This is like the boss that talks shit about you, but needs your work in order for them to look good. Uh, if you're dating somebody uh, and they're asking about your friends, uh, it, it's like that energy. Make sure you're not being used here. There's people being used. The energy with you is there's people using other people. The thing is, don't let yourself be used, Sagittarius. So you know who you can trust. Some of you just be mindful. If if someone new comes into your life, but they spend more time talking about someone that isn't you, <laughs> I don't feel like you're in that energy. But damn, Sagittarius. Take what's yours and leave what's not. There's the Libra energy. There's the Empress energy. There's the Eight of Cups. There's the King of Wands. There's the Three of Wands. This is the Two of Wands. So, damn. A lot of you have moved through this energy. Or you should be focusing on moving through that energy. You could definitely have exes trying to find out about you, Sagittarius. Damn. The best thing for most people to do is to sit down and shut the fuck up. Be very mindful of who you're confiding in as well. Because there's a lot of who's stabbing who in the back when it comes to this. This is a lot of energy that you should know as well. I don't think there's a whole lot of surprises when it comes to you, Sagittarius. Unless you're just not paying fucking attention. So, damn. Queen of Wands with the Ace of Swords. There's the Ten of Pentacles. Yeah, there's this sort of tower energy. Some of you sort of caught on to something. If you started dating someone new or someone kind of befriended you uh, and you realized that they weren't really interested in you, it was like you were being played. This could be work energy as well as romance. There's not a lot of romance on this, so Lord help you if you think the person's loving you because there's no love on this. This is getting close. Eight of Swords, King of Cups, there you are, Sagittarius. And there's that sort of strength card. Seven of Pentacles to the Three of Pentacles to the Two of Cups. Hmm. Damn, Sagittarius. You could get played this way, Sagittarius. Someone could be trying to play you. I don't think there's a whole lot of coincidental energy when it comes to this Sagittarius. And hopefully you're smart enough to not get catfished. Uh, it's it's kind of like that vibe. Who can you trust? Who shouldn't you trust? Some of you, you need to be keeping things to yourself. So, damn Sagittarius. People are using others. Whatever the hell this energy is, it's, it's people using other people. So eventually, if you're not sort of feeding that energy, Sagittarius, then it doesn't work. Crosswatchers watch because they can't see. So how do they really know what's going on? Who is sort of wanting to control this narrative when it comes to you? So those of you, when it comes to work, having faith and trust. If you're a praying person, Sagittarius, keep that sort of positivity here. Some of you, if this is in regards to a church... Right? Keep that shit to yourself. There's a lot of uh, backstabbing energy here. There's a lot of uh, using others to find out about others. Jesus Christ, Sagittarius. This is good old karmic energy. So, hopefully you're navigating this. You understand this. I feel like you've been doing the work, but damn, be, be mindful and be patient of that. 
those of you, the friend or the family member that fucks anybody or anything and there's always like a new energy around, be mindful of those. So, damn Sagittarius. Yeah, that King of Swords vibe right here. Mm. Damn, with the King of Cups. Sagittarius, some of you, if you're in a relationship or partnership, you could find out that you're kind of being used. Or make sure that you're not being used. There's the Hermit, the Nine. Some of y'all might think this is sexy, or some of y'all might think this is, like, romantic. But for fuck's sake, some of you, it's really not. So be mindful of that sort of residual energy when it comes to relationships or partnerships with you, Sagittarius. I don't think there's anything that's really coincidental. There's the Six of Swords. There's that sort of butterfly energy with you. Think of your favorite song with butterfly in it. Listen to it. Maybe that'll give you inspiration. So, you got the Six of Swords, the World card, and there's that Knight of Swords energy. And there's that Knight of Cups. Lord have mercy. Watch your favorite astrologer, Sagittarius. Maybe for some of you, this is astrological. If you've got a lot of water placement, you should be kind of in filling your Gemini vibes. Something when it comes to a relationship or partnership. What's really the right connection and what's not? If you're hiring people, this could be if you're hiring people, this could be a work situation. If you're big in the church, this could be the, the sort of chatter in the church. Uh, I don't know, but something isn't coincidental and damn, someone's wanting to know all about you. So if you're thinking this is like an expression of love, be mindful of that. That Leo energy on top of this, too. Lord sweet Jesus, Sagittarius. So what do you have going on here, Sagittarius? What do you have going on here? Page of Wands, the Seven of Swords. There's the Ace of Wands. There's the Seven of Cups. There's the Gemini. Lord have mercy. Look at that. Cancer energy, the Five of Wands, and the Queen of Cups. Some of y'all could be dealing with a water sign energy. Some of y'all could be dealing with a bitter ex, a bitter karmic. Oh, because you're pulling focus here. That's what I love about your energy. So now is not the time for you, Sagittarius, to just... I don't know. Who are you sharing your dreams with? Some of y'all be very mindful of the people that's in your energy. If you deal with people that fuck a lot of randos and you have a lot of sort of people you don't know coming around you, uh, some of y'all need to put a stop to that shit. Uh, it's messy, but I don't think you're the one being used. Or at least, let's hope the hell that you're not being used, Sagittarius. Nothing's coincidental. So whatever, whatever the hell this is with you, some of you with regards to a relationship or partnership, those of you if you're dealing with karmic exes, uh, those of you, the messy people around you that bring about any sort of uh, energy that you're not aware of. So, damn Sagittarius. Keep that focus on you. For fuck's sake, sit down and shut the fuck up. Definitely be mindful of who you're confiding in as well. So those of you, any new sort of, any new friendships, any new relationships or partnerships, don't be sort of blabbing out all your hopes and dreams and what you got planned and, and all this. Some of y'all need to just sit down, shut the fuck up and focus on you. Especially if you get a lot of rando energy around you. Those of you, friends, family, those of you when it comes to like working situations, there's not a lot of coincidental. Who would stab you in the back? Who has stabbed you in the back? Uh, Sagittarius. Uh, that energy's still there. The more focus you pull on you, the more that sort of energy just doesn't work. So some of y'all, you need to pull that focus back on you. You know you, you know your life, Sagittarius. This sounds dramatic, but it's really not. Uh, any of you, if you've had someone that's uh, sort of befriended you just to find out about someone around you, 
uh, Sagittarius. This is like a co-worker. Uh, if you've got an idea or you want to sort of advance yourself, some of y'all keep that shit to yourself. If you're interested in somebody, Sagittarius, keep that shit to yourself too. Because some of you, once you say you like somebody, someone could be wanting to come in on that. I don't know. There's just way too much external energy. It's very karmic. And the energy always falls apart. So there's some backstabbing. There's a lot of sort of energy you don't need. You need to be in Gemini energy. Gemini is your opposite. So maybe your moon nodes have switched up. Some of you staying single right now or being very mindful of who sort of gets the opportunity to be in your energy. Those of you that deal with people that bring a lot of random energy around you, people you don't know. Uh-uh. You don't need that shit in your life either. Be mindful of the energy vibe that you get off that, too, because there's not a whole lot of coincidental vibes in here. Those of you, if you got stuck bitter exes, this could be that energy. If you're online dating, be mindful of catfish and energy, for fuck's sake, Sagittarius. So any communication you have, FaceTime, Zoom, make sure that you're actually dealing with who the fuck you're dealing with. Uh... Keep uh, conversations short and just, uh, for some of you, yes, no answers. Whatever whatever this vibe is, sit down, shut the fuck up, and focus on you. Because you are definitely getting some attention. But that energy, you gotta let, some of you need to let that energy just sort of work its way out, too. So the less you sort of feed it, the less sort of energy or attention that you give it, it just sort of dissipates. Damn, I don't know your life. So, damn, Sagittarius. Take what's yours and leave what's not. This is good energy. So, if you, if this is your vibe, you're obviously doing good. You're looking good. You're doing something right. But, damn. Be mindful of the new. And don't be sharing all your dreams and sort of goals with just anybody. Definitely be mindful of those who are just very inquisitive and always ask questions about everyone but you. So if you're dating somebody, they could be dating you to get closer to somebody or somebody could be dating somebody around you to kind of get closer to you. It's low vibing karmic shit. It's a bunch of relationships or partnerships that a lot of you, they're starting to fall apart now because you haven't been putting that much time, energy or attention into it. Just be mindful of the pillow talk. I don't see a whole lot of love here. So be mindful if you start to date. Be mindful of your pillow talk. I don't feel like a whole lot of coincidental energy is here either. So, oh, look, we happen to meet each other. Yeah, that wasn't coincidental. So for fuck's sake, Sagittarius. Ah, oh, that, that puts you in some good vibes. Anything else for Sagittarius on this? Watch your favorite astrologer, Sagittarius. Some of y'all, your moon nodes could be switched up. Be, be happily single. Be happily sort of unencumbered. And question like your relationships or partnerships, especially those that come in. Definitely be mindful in regards to the work that you do as to what you say to higher ups as well with the Hierophant energy here. So if you're going for a promotion and you have to uh, uh, maybe make some criticisms, make sure that you keep them sort of bland in general. Queen of Wands, double Queen of Wands energy here. Don't be played. Nothing's coincidental. Be mindful of the random energies that you don't know. Be mindful of those people that bring about a bunch of random people that you don't know. So uh, if you go to a party and, you know, there's like new people there you're not aware of, just be mindful of that too. That's not paranoia. You just know the person, right? If they have a new partner every week, every two to three weeks, be mindful of that sort of energy too. Keep it high vibrational as well. That's almost like Trojan horse energy. Some of y'all make sure you're uh, using protection here. 
uh, family planning. There's a lot going on when it comes to you. But make smart choices. This is karmic energy written all over. Don't feed this sort of uh, vibe there. Because there's a lot of this that once you put focus back on yourself, it makes all the difference. Good luck. God bless Sagittarius. Like, share, subscribe. Peace, love, and light.